10.1e, Factor Common Factors in Grouping, Grouping with a Change of Order. If our binomials don't match, we will reorder and try again. We are talking about when we have four terms and we will need to, need to factor by grouping. In example one here, if I leave it just like it is and I divide it into the two groups, I look at my first two terms here and I notice that they don't have any common factors. When I look at my second two terms, they only got an A in common. And so what that means is that I usually are going to have to reorder. There's usually multiple ways to reorder. It's strictly up to you how you want to do that. Um, I'm thinking that I'm just going to interchange these two right here. You may have saw something else and if you wanted to factor it a different way you could exchange, you could have changed the negative 7b and the negative 28. Um, but there's usually several ways of doing this. So I really recommend that you take the time to rewrite this. Otherwise you're likely to lose your place. Okay, so when I look at my first two terms, I notice that they have a common factor of 3 and it looks like they both have an A, so we're going to pull out an A also. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, A squared divided by A is A, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and A divided by A is 1, and that leaves me with just a B. Okay, both of these are negative, that's my um, really strong sign that you need to factor out a negative. Okay, and I notice that they just have a common factor of 7. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1, and that will leave us with just a B. Negative 28 divided by negative 7 is going to be a positive 4, and we'll have an A. Okay, we're looking to see if these are exactly the same. Well, my order is different, but I have both a positive B and a positive 4A, which means that they are the same. So since they are the same, I can say, I can pull that out as a common factor. And it doesn't matter which one I choose to write down for the order. I'm just going to go ahead and just write down the first one. And then I'm going to list what's left over, the negative 3a and minus 7. Whoops. For some reason we got the highlighter still. Whoops. Okay, let's try that part again. Three A minus seven, and we're done. Okay, let's look at the second group here. Now, if I divided it here, six and twenty both have a common factor of two but 8 and 15 don't have anything at all in common, so I think I want to change them around. Um, I think I'll just move these two here. It may not, there may have been other ways of doing it, but I think I'm just going to move those two because I know that 20 has a common factor with 15 and 8 has a common factor with 6. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this now as 6xy plus 8x I just noticed that my 6 is smaller than my 8, so I think I want to write my 15 first, 15y minus 20, because I kind of want to keep them so they have, I go in same orders, largest to smallest or smallest to largest. Okay, now 6 and 8 have a common factor of 2, so we're going to pull that out. And they have a common factor of x. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, x divided by x is 1, leaving me with a y. 8 divided by 2 is 4, x divided by x is 1, so it just leaves me with just 4. Again, I have two negatives here, so that tells me I want to pull out a negative. 
15 and 20 have a common factor of 5. I don't see anything else, so negative 15 divided by negative 5 is a 3. Leaves me with y. Negative 20 divided by negative 5 is a positive 4. Oh, good. We match. I'm not highlighting it at this time. Hopefully by this time you're seeing it. So we have 3y plus 4 and we're left with 2x minus 5 and I'm done.